What's up YouTube for tonight's video? I have some live stream coverage from last night. First I want to say thank you to everyone that rocked up to that. Uh, if you didn't get to make it and you'd still like to see it, uh, the video is already pre-uploaded on my channel from last night. Uh, this was one of the best battles that I had uh, last night. I had a couple of them, so I will be putting the better ones up on my channel. Um, if you'd like me to use any Pokemon sets or you got any theme team ideas, leave them in the comment section. Do that. Uh, make sure you leave a like on this video as well. Uh, this one was up against Brock Davidge. Hope I said your username right. Um, I think this is the first battle I had on the stream, so get this one going. Um, I've, I'm going to put another. I've got some another theme battle I'm going to put up later on as well, so I can give you a couple of videos for tonight. Right. So we've got a slip half lead. Um, I already knew this was going to be probably the belly drum set. Um, I thought Don Fan would come in on this because. Uh, maybe like a uh, like a Volt Switch or a Thunderbolt. So I decided to go for Blizzard. Unfortunately, Copper Lion comes in, so um, it's not going to be great. Blizzard does hit, though. It's The problem with this thing is a little bit inaccurate. But um, I get some nice damage off there, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm not going to be staying on that, because I'm actually Choice Scarf myself. Um, now, this is my defensive uh, Mashana, and uh, it's going to just sponge that Sacred Assault, which is good. Um, I've got. I'm not. I can't really hit this thing too much because I've got Toxic on this set, which is not going to be any effect at all. And I've got Psyshock. Um, so I just decided to go for Psyshock to see what other moves it had. And uh, fortunately, they swap out into Miss Magus, so I'm able to get some damage off on Miss Magus too. And I'm hitting it defensively, which is better because I know Miss Magus has nice uh, special events. Okay, so I can see it's got leftovers there. So I'm thinking it may have Substitute because Substitute uh, does work well with leftovers. Um, like I may have Will-O-Wisp and Thunderbolt and Shadow Ball, maybe that set. Um, they're going to uh, double swap out. I just went for Psyshock again. I thought that was my best play uh, for there. Uh, in comes... Sorry, I swapped out. I'm going to... Oh, I can't remember what I was going to do. Oh, that's that's right. I wonder, I thought the Miss Magus would go for a Shadow Ball, so I swapped in Eradicate. Now I thought, well, if this is Adam and Nature, I'm going to outspeed it. If it's not, I'm not uh, going to. So I go down to Sacred Sword. That sucks. All right, so I'm like, okay, well... It must be Jolly Cobble Lion then, so let's try out my Triscarf um, Fridge. And then it outspeeds me again, I'm like, okay, so it's not Jolly, it's probably Adamant Choice Scarf Cobble Lion, so that cost me two Pokemon just to figure that out, which really sucked. So I wasn't in the greatest position at the moment. Now, I thought I'd swap in Mr. Mime here, um, try and. I knew that I had the weakness there, and. With the, them being locked into Sacred Swords, so I could set up a free nasty plot, that was my idea. Um, like, unfortunately, it took me two two Pokemon just to figure that out, so that was pretty bad uh, for me. So I got a, a nasty plot up, uh, regardless, that's good. Um, I've got Filter on this thing, so I knew that I could probably take a, um, a Shadow Ball from this thing uh, badly. And uh, Mr. Wine has nice special defense uh, in any way, so I thought I'd just take it. So I um, get the uh, Psyshock off, which is nice. And out comes the Pidgeot, and I was thinking, well, it's either going to go for Hurricane, or it might just scout me and U-turn. Um, obviously, it's going to be Mega Pidgeot. Uh, no one runs normal Pidgeot, unfortunately. Which is sad, but that's how it is, I guess. Uh, it's just going to U-turn me. Um, I, I don't think it's going to do too much, because you know, I'd say most of its EVs will be put into speed and special attack. Um, okay, uh, I decided to go for Psyshock again. I almost went for Focus Blast, and I thought, no, let's just go for Psyshock. In comes Cobbleline. I know this is going to take it out, because... I've already got a plus two in Mr. Mime. Man. It's got some fair special attack after that. So that was great getting rid of that thing because it was a really big threat to my team. Um, I say that just would have locked itself into um, Iron Head uh, and just, yeah, annihilated my Mr. Mime. Uh, Pidgeon's going to come back in. Uh, this time it's going to hurricane me. Uh, I'm not going to definitely not leave that one. But Mr. Mime did a job there, a nice little job there, getting rid of a couple of those pokes. Okay, now this Pokemon was really, really handy. So I knew uh, Mega Pidgeot couldn't touch it at all unless it had, like, Hidden Power Grass or something. Uh, I decided to just go for Head Smash. That's the best attack that I could do. I'm um, actually Choice Banded, Adamant, and Max Health. In comes Vapor. I'm like, please hit, please hit. And it does hit, and uh, it annihilates Vaporeon, which is great because Vaporeon's really annoying. I would just bang my hand on the keyboard. Okay, um, so I'm locked in here. Now, this was a really risky play by both of us, so... Um, they go for Belly Drum, I'm thinking, oh crap, this better not miss. If it misses, uh, this is game over. If it hits, well, I might be able to stay in the match. 
Uh, so he gets most of his health back with the Citra Fairy uh, there. I'm locked into Head Smash, as I said, so I just risk it and stayed in. I had to really go for it. I couldn't swap out, and fortunately it does hit there, and that's slip off down, because that thing is a nightmare after it's got a, a belly drum up. Okay, uh, now, since I've locked into Head Smash, uh, Don Fan is going to just be able to come in easy. Um, I have to save my Relicamp for that Mega Pid drop, and so I thought, let's swap in uh, Mashana again. Uh, Don Fan's just going to go for Earthquake, as I thought I would against Relicanth. Now, I know that I can't do too much damage to this thing, so I thought, well, I, at least I could get a Toxic on it, that'd be quite handy. Uh, Don Fan is carrying Knock Off as well, which sucks, because that's going to get rid of my leftovers. Does a fair chunk of damage to me as well. Um, now, this set was that Toxic Miss as well, which is really annoying. Uh, this set was a, a, def a very defensive one. Uh, I think it was Max Health Defense. So I knew that, like, I knew that I wouldn't take, um, like, a Hurricane from Pidgeot very well, or even even uh, very well at all. Uh, so I, I got the Toxic off, which I was happy with. I was almost going to go for, after uh, after this Protect, I, um, I hadn't revealed Protect yet, so I thought that was a good idea to use that. I was almost going to go for a Moonlight here, but I thought, no, I want to get some damage on Pidgeot, just in case um, something bad happened. Anyway, so Pidgeot's going to fire off Hurricane, that's the strongest move. Um, I do actually just leave that, because just purely of my base stats and health. Um, I get my Psyshock off, does some nice damage there. And I get another little round of Toxic there. I was almost going to go for Moonlight here because I thought they knew that i go for Protect, but I thought, uh, I'll just play the obvious play because I may get another round of Toxic, but it didn't really matter too much uh, in the end there. So I knew uh, Don Van would probably uh, most definitely outspeed me and just finish me off with Knock Off, which was fine. Um, I still had my... Sorry, I still had my Relic Camp left, and I had my Throw left. Not that I was... I was a little bit worried with Throw because I knew that... Uh, that Pidgeot would, a Mega Pidgeot would be able to destroy me. So I had to get some bulk ups off. Um, I decided to start boosting my attack because I need to get through this Don Fan as well because Don Fan's got really nice defense. I thought they may swap here into Mega Pidgeot, but it, at the same time, that would have been a very risky play because I could have gone for any like, attacking move at all. So I just circle throat, and that's going to take Don Fan out of the picture and uh, bring Mega Pidgeot in, which worked out actually a lot better for me. Um, so I get another round of uh, poison there. I knew that uh, I knew that I wouldn't be able to take a hurricane here, even though that throw's got amazing special defense. Uh, it is Mega Pidgeot, so I go down to that one. I already took some previous damage from Earthquake too. So my last Pokemon was my Relicanth, which was banded. Um, like I had Waterfall, I knew that would hit everything and be super effective against Donphan. So that was my idea here. Pidgeot is really on its last leg, so it's just going to go for its p most powerful move being Hurricane. Doesn't do too much to me because I resist that, plus I max health as well, which um, did most certainly help. So I'm going to fire off that Waterfall there. That's going to finish the Mega Pidgeot off, which was great. Uh, so the last Pokemon we had, uh, we both had one Pokemon left for the Donphan. A new Earthquake was coming my way. Um, I had nice base defense as well, um, and this thing had a freaking Pasho Berry. I was like, oh man, of all the times for... Um, of all, the, of all the berries to have and all the items to have. So it resists that and takes it very nicely, uh, considering I'm bedded. Don't think it's going to fire off the Earthquake, and I just live with 11 health. Oh my god, I was wondering if it had Ice Shard as well, because that would have uh, been able to take me out. Uh, but it didn't, and uh, that's uh, Don Fan down. And man, that was a really close game and a great battle for the first one of the stream. Um, to whoever saw that one. Uh, but yeah, that, that was really good. I'll just quickly go through what, what my uh, sets were as well. But if you've got any Pokemon you'd like me to use, uh, leave them in the comment section. Please leave a set as well if, you, yeah, if you've if you got a couple of suggestions or any theme teams and stuff, do that as well. Um, but I will be putting a theme team up later on so you can do most of them there if you'd like. Uh, my, my Rotom uh, fridge was just a, cho a typical choice scarf. It was modest, um, but then again, Cobbleine has crazy speed anyway. I, I must admit, um, the choice scarf Cobbleine was pretty surprising. Uh, Mashana was just a bulky defensive wall. Um, Relicanth was just uh, max attack, max health, choice ban. It's, it's bloody good. It's it's so good at wall breaking as well. I, um, like, you can just two shot the top. Even real bulky stuff like Wheezing, you can just two shot them with head smash. It's great. Uh, throw was just max health, max, max special defense, just bulk up. And yeah, that sn thing snowballs really fast if there's um, no uh, ghosts and. Mega pitch on the field. Uh, Mr. Mime is just a uh, nasty plot, uh, life orb sweeper, and uh, Radicate was just a gut set. I didn't get to use him much because of that uh, uh, Troy Scarf. Okay, anyway, uh, that's about all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I will get a theme team up tonight if I do get the time. 
Um, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to anyway. But I want to say thank you to everyone who rocked up the stream yesterday. I'll try and do that again uh, this coming week as well. Same day, same time. But I'll let you know during the week um, if anything crops up. Thank you for taking the time out of your day for watching my videos. Peace out.